27th. Number 27. We're going to have to talk about this. It's your boy Joe Castro, aka Philly Fresco, and it is Philly Philly, the podcast, man. We are back with another one. So today I want to talk quickly about Maurice Jones Drew's uh top 32 running backs in the league, where he put more um my guy Miles Sanders and my thoughts on it. I got some good thoughts on it. Before we get into that, I want to give a quick shout out to my guy Jalen Williams for his comment. He said, not to be that guy, but all I see right now is 199K. Well, shout out to everybody. We did hit 2K yesterday. Um, I appreciate it, man. 2,000 subs is a, a big accomplishment. Definitely would not have thought we would have got here so quickly. So I appreciate everybody that subscribed, watch anything. If you are new, be sure to hit that subscribe button, man. Join the family. Tonight, we do have a very big um, collab going on. We got my guy, obviously, Brandon. And then we also have my guy, Tom, from A2D Radio. Tori from A2D Radio. You guys know him. Everybody loves him. RB from Philly Take with RB. And then my guy, Simply Swerve, also coming on. So it's going to be a big one tonight at 6.30. So I hope to see you all there. Now, Maurice Jones Drew recently dropped his, you know, as a part of the NFL.com, he dropped his top running backs list. I'm not going to go over the whole running backs list. It is what it is. I'll say Maurice Jones Drew was a great running back. I lived in Jacksonville for like six, seven years. Loved the guy. Met him a couple times. He's a good, a good dude, cool guy, very respectful, very nice. But this list, he put Miles Sanders at number 27, number 27 of 32 running backs. Now, I'm not sitting here, and I know a lot of people, a lot of times people think you're sitting here saying, oh, he's got to be top five, he's got to be top ten. I'm not saying that. Mark, at the end of the day, Miles Sanders has to prove that he can carry the load, that, you know, with more touches, he can be just as productive. But if you look at his numbers, last year, I will say, you know, the numbers as far as his passing, uh, pass catching went, went way down. I think that was more so because of the scheme. I think in the first year you saw what he could be as a pass catcher. And then the second year, Doug Peterson just refused to try and get the ball in his hand, even when we were just struggling. So it is what it is. But at the same point, 27th, 27th, let's let's talk about some of the people that are behind him. The only people that are behind him are Miles Gaskins from the um, Dolphins, Devin Singletary, obviously, I believe he's from the um, Bears, though. Mark Ingram, I don't remember where he is right now. I think he's still with the, the um, Ravens. Damian Harris from the, the Patriots, and Tevin Coleman. And uh, yeah, so I know Miles Sanders has not hit a thousand yards yet. That's very clear. I think that every Eagles fans will agree with me when I say he has not been utilized to his full potential yet. And that's something that you really, that is very worrisome. You definitely want to see him start getting used and you want to see him be healthy throughout that usage. We know that he got hurt, injured a little bit last year. Um, in his rookie year, he got dinged up a couple times. You know, in college, he wasn't really injured that much. He really only played one year. So, I mean, that could be a reason why. But we have not seen the full potential of Miles Sanders. And for you to put Miles Sanders at number 27 is just blasphemous to me. And the one thing that is annoying the heck out of me, whenever they do these lists, the one name that continues to come up is Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts has nothing to do with how good our running back is. Absolutely nothing. I could see you saying it with Devontae Smith because... For him to get the ball, you need a quarterback to throw it to you. I get that. But you're sitting here saying that Sanders has to have a, 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 a Saquon Barkley-esque. That's that's a quote. He has to have a Saquon Barkley-esque type season to help take off the pressure of Jalen Hurts. So that's why you think he's at 27. You have to see more consistency. I understand the consistency part. But Jalen Hurts has zero to do with this. Zero to do with this. A lot of these, look, and like I said, I have nothing but respect for Maurice Jones Drew, and I have nothing but, but respect for most of these reporters. It is what it is. It's a job, and I understand it. 
but I also understand how SEOs work. All right, you can't just keep on throwing in keywords so that your your article comes up on stuff. Don't just say stuff. Like that's my thing with this. J Jalen Hurts has zero to do with what Miles Sanders is going to become. Well, him being a good quarterback help. Well, and on the on the flip side, well, Miles Sanders being a good running back help Jalen Hurts obviously. But those are team things. That's that's will it help the team be better? Yes, definitely. But you're telling me Miles Sanders is going to be held back because he has too high of a plateau he has to hit? That makes no sense to me. That makes no sense to me. 27 makes no sense. Zero sense at all. I, you know, I like I said, I didn't go through the whole list, but I know off the top of my head, I can't name 27 running backs that are better than Miles Sanders that I would take over Miles Sanders. That is blasphemous. If there's rookies on there, it makes no sense because you got you got to see consistency from them too. You know, I didn't see Travis Etienne's name. I can't say his name. But if you're putting him over Miles Sanders, that's that's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. So I, I'm going to go over the full list at one point. I, I'm not going to go over it today, but I'm going to go over it at one point. And I'm going I'm to definitely dissect it. Maybe we'll redo the list again like we did with the top 40 quarterbacks. But yeah, this just makes zero sense to me. So I want to know what you guys think about that. Also, I wanted to talk quickly about the um, at PFF's ranking of the Eagles and the Cowboys. Now the Cowboys are ranked as a top 10 team. I believe they're ranked number eight going into next year. So the, the, apparently the and the Broncos, see, I don't wanna just hate on Dallas. Dallas and Denver are both supposed to be top 10 teams next year. And the Eagles are at 29. I don't even care where you got the Eagles. The Eagles might be bad uh, next year. I'm cool with that. It is what it is. You can hate on us. But to sit here and say that Denver Denver, who has, in my opinion, a worse quarterback than us and was trash last year, and Dallas are going to be top 10 teams off what? Off, off of what? I need to see. I need to see the, the, the stat sheet or the predictive stats or whatever it is that PFF is looking at that tells you that a team that couldn't win the division in one of the worst divisions is about to be the number 18. And if it's because of injuries, Eagles went through injuries. If it's because of quarterback, quarter, Eagles got a new quarterback. All right, come on. That makes zero sense. I would, I would make it would make more sense if you put the Giants up there. Because realistically, the Giants have a good defense. The Giants could have won the division. The Giants have a quarterback that if he's good, if he's just good, they should be a decent team. The Cowboys have so many questions on that defense. They didn't have mad injuries on that defense. That defense was trash. Their offensive line was, was was shambled with injuries. I'll give you that. They had no quarterback for a while. I'll give you that. But your, your wide receiver still ate. So at the end of the day, you were one and three when you had your quarterback. You were one and three against some bad defenses, put up some great numbers on offense, and you guys were one and three. So I don't understand how coming back, now you're going to be so much better. So much better. Micah Parsons is going to change that defense. Uh, big, uh, fat. Fat man boss, whatever, bat, bat boss man scoop. I don't even know what the heck his name is. Calvin Joseph is going to change that second game. Give, give me a break, PFF. Give me a break and stop ducking my emails, man. Y'all said y'all was going to come on. And now because I don't agree with everything you say, you want to duck my emails. But it's cool. I got you. I got you. I just wanted, I just wanted to spell that out real quick. Because it's annoying to be real with you, it's, it's starting to get annoying. I feel like they just have a template that they use for these preseason rankings and they just do the same thing every year. To have Denver and to have Dallas in the top 10 is blasphemous. To have Miles Sanders at number 27, to say that he is the sixth worst starting um, running back in this league is absolutely insane to me. So I, I'm sure a lot of people are going to disagree with me. I'm sure a lot of people are going to think that those lists are right on. So I want to know. I want to hear what you say. I need to hear it. I need to hear why you think that the, the, the Cowboys are going to be a top 10 team. Why you think that the Broncos are going to be a top 10 team. Why is Miles Sanders so low on this list? I need the answer. Make it make sense to me, y'all. Make it make sense to me. But other than that, I just want to, again, thank you so much for 2K, guys. It really does mean a lot to me. It's awesome. And, you know. Now we're on the roads of 3K. We, 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 you know, that's that's in our past, our, our, our rear view. We, we looking forward now. 3K, let's get it. Be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe. But other than that, y'all know what it is, man. It is fly, Eagles fly. We are out here. Peace. Eagles fly everywhere. This is for yeah. you. Fly, Eagles fly. Team touchdown, touchdown. Time to get changed in this ring. You don't really want to start a thing. This a bird game nation, baby. It's a Philly thing. Hater, and you looking like you type trash. I'm just
Thanks for tuning in.